Hello, I'm Eric Apple, principal and founder of Eric Apple Law. Welcome to another edition of our blog pod. Today, we're looking at creating a golden nest egg for your golden years. Americans are now living longer than ever before, which is great news. However, the downside is that we're at risk of possibly outliving our life savings. According to the Social Security Administration, a 65-year-old man can expect to live to age 84 on average, while a woman of the same age may make it closer to 87. So if you retire at the age of 62, your nest egg may have to last for at least 20 years. And while Social Security will provide an income stream, it's becoming evident that the amount will not be enough for most retirees to live comfortably. Little wonder that the most frequently cited retirement concern among Americans is outliving their savings and investments. In a survey related to this issue, 44% of respondents across all ages express this fear as compared to 41% of retirees. In addition, 47% of retirees believe that they had not amassed a nest egg large enough to make it through retirement. An article in Kiplinger addressed this issue and offered advice on how to avoid going broke in retirement. More specifically, they urged people to not abandon stocks. Stocks may feel like a risky option at the best of times. During your retirement years, you may feel even more reluctant to build your retirement wealth through the stock market, especially with such differing opinions from investment gurus. Some claim the market is headed for imminent, unprecedented collapse, while another predicts record highs for years to come. Market volatility and inconsistent commentary like this leads many retirees to abandon stocks entirely. Unfortunately, without stocks, it is very difficult to get the growth you need to live comfortably for 20 years or more after retirement. What's wrong with playing it safe with retirement money and keeping it in cash? Inflation. Over time, inflation will erode the purchasing power of the cash you saved up. So while you think you're saving money, you're losing money at the same time by allowing for its purchasing power to deplete. You want your long-term investments to outpace inflation, hence why stocks play such an important role in giving you the biggest bang for your buck. Stocks historically have produced long-term gains that are bigger than those of other asset class. Since 1926, large stocks have returned an average of 10% per year. What's more, they don't lose ground during any period of 20 years or longer during that time. So it's important to make sure to keep an eye out for high quality companies so short-term volatility isn't front of mind. Also, keep your portfolio diverse, which better equips you to weather the market. The key is to invest in stocks that have good growth potential over the long haul. By creating a portfolio of high quality companies, you can gain a predictable growing dividend income. While there is no universal formula, many advisors recommend moving to a 60% stock portfolio as you approach retirement, trimming that back to 40% in early retirement and holding just 20% of your portfolio in stocks later in retirement. You can always put the rest in bond funds. The more you have in stocks, the better you'll probably do over the long term, but the more you have in bonds, the easier it will be to sleep. Remember that you can start off small, as investing any amount of money is never futile thanks to compound interest. No matter how much starter money you begin with, interest will accumulate and expand your balance. It's also important to stay committed to your stock investments allowing for investments to ride out the market's inevitable short-term rough patches and maintaining a calm temperament are keys to investment success. The stock market can feel like a daunting terrain to traverse on your own. So if you have concerns, it's worth talking them out with your spouse, your family, and trusted advisors and financial planners, people that you feel confident confiding in. Remember, you don't have to go it alone, and even successful investors don't. Stay tuned for our next blog pod, and in the meantime, if you'd like to find out more about expanding your assets, please feel free to visit our website at ericapplelaw.com, where you can learn more, give us a call, or drop us a note. Until next time, thank you for joining us here. Please like, subscribe, and share so we can help you and your loved ones become more informed and we can work together to live more powerfully into the future.